I come from pursuing the traditional entertainment business, movies and television, and somehow through sheer doggedness, persistence, stubbornness, I, I hung with it until I found something that really worked for me. I came out to Los Angeles initially to be a director and a writer and very much a behind the scenes guy. I edited, I was a DP. While in Los Angeles, the business really changed right under my feet. When I started on YouTube, I initially uploaded short films where I was just behind the camera and it, they didn't really go anywhere. And I didn't understand why all these kids on YouTube were doing so well and I, with my you know, professional training and award-winning short films, were, were not. What I came to realize is that they were personalizing their channel. They were getting in front of the camera, talking directly to the lens, saying, hey guys, uh, how are you? You know, this happened today, it's crazy. Um, and so that's what I tried. I embraced YouTube and I started making content, not out of my own um, foresight as to what YouTube was going to be, more out of frustration just because I was tired of dealing with gatekeepers and people who were preventing me from making what I wanted to make. It was really difficult at first to get in front of the camera and talk to the lens. I felt really stupid. I, you know, I wondered what my family and friends were thinking. Uh, but next thing you know, comments just started to roll in. People started to subscribe and my videos were getting hundreds of thousands of views. I had an absolute blast making whatever I wanted to and having hundreds of thousands of people see it. At YouTube, I'm a creative strategist or a content strategist, and the easiest way to explain that is I'm a YouTube teacher. My job is to understand what works and why on YouTube from a video perspective or a series or show perspective, and then teach those learnings and best practices back to the creator community. YouTube Space New York uh, is where we are now, and this is one of several facilities that Google and YouTube have built to help support creators. We have all sorts of different classes and workshops. You can use our stages here, our various sets, and really up your game as far as production value with your videos. What ended up working for me was just putting my voice out there online. I went to Los Angeles pursuing this whole dream of making movies, but at the end of the day, all I needed was an internet connection. There is still plenty of room. There are groups and communities out there and underserved voices that are waiting to, to find um, someone who they can connect with online.